I'm Anne Braden, and my book, The Benefits of Being an Octopus, is coming out in September, and it's starting to feel real. The electronic arcs are available on Edelweiss, and physical arcs should be coming out pretty soon. But I have something that I can hold in my hand right now that I want to show you. It's the Educator's Guide! You might not think that this is that exciting, but I taught middle school, and when I wrote this book, I thought about all the students I taught, and I thought about all the students who I know are out there dealing with a lot of the things that the main character deals with. And I thought about all the conversations that are really important for us to be having with each other. And so I'm super excited about this Educator's Guide. The Educator's Guide deals with themes of the power of assumptions, it deals with the realities of living in poverty, it deals with emotional abuse and guns, and it deals with bridging the divides that exist in our communities. On the power of assumptions, it happens all the time. This is my bunny sweater. You see, bunnies. My daughter is five. She said to me, that's a cat. And I said, it's a bunny. It's my bunny sweater. And she said, that is a cat. I said, no, look, two ears. Do you see two ears? Feet for jumping. It's a bunny. She said, that's a cat. And I looked down to where she was pointing and look, bunny, 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 cat. So sometimes we have to examine our assumptions and find out that we don't actually know everything that we're talking about. As a teacher, I used to teach using essential questions. So having this big picture question that was guiding our studies. And I loved it because it was about exploring things together. That there was no one right answer. It was about figuring out, you know, the different sides of a situation, figuring out your place in the world and how you could impact it. And so this teacher's guide is based on essential questions also. One of the questions is, when we make assumptions about other people, what do we base them on? How do those assumptions change our interactions? The second question we explore is, how are people's lives affected when they have to struggle to make ends meet? So many students are dealing with poverty, are dealing with instability in terms of, do we have enough to eat? Do we have a stable place to live? Is everything gonna be okay? And there are some great books about poverty, but there aren't enough. There are so many students with so many different stories. We need a lot of different books about this so students can truly see themselves reflected in the pages and see the inner strength that is in them reflected back at them. We examine a question about what cultural divides exist in the community and how it might be possible to cross those divides. We also look at the question of when it comes to controversial issues, what role does debate play? How does it help? How does it hurt? And what alternatives actually exist? If we think about the media, we're programmed to see controversial issues as two sides where you listen to both sides and they argue with each other. And if we actually want to make progress, there has to be a different way of doing things. One of the activities that's attached to the educator's guide is an alternative to traditional debate, where you examine both sides of the situation, but then you examine what they might have in common and how it's possible to bridge those divides. And finally, what happens when a person who has felt misunderstood and alone finally feels seen and valued? And it also deals with the power of finding your own voice. That's something that I think all students need. They need to see that inner strength reflected back at them when they see someone who's even who's in a rough situation who's dealing with so many things coming at her again and again and again and is able to dig down and find that voice inside her about what is right and what is fair and what is just i am so excited for the conversations that are going to come from this educator's guide and right now you can actually enter a giveaway of a full class set of the benefits of being an octopus. The giveaway is hosted at Curious City and you can link to it from my teachers and librarians page on my website, annbradenbooks.com. You'll get a class set, 
um, octopus tattoos, and you can always download this educator's guide directly from my website. Thank you so much. I hope to hear from you, and I'd love to know your thoughts.